I want to work hard, but I don't know on what. Well, firstly, let me show you my book, The Way of the Superior Man. The very first chapter is really about this. This dilemma that men face. They don't know their purpose. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to start. Well, first chapter. Stop hoping for a completion of anything in life. Let me read out to you this short passage real quick. Most men make the error of thinking that one day it will be done. They think, if I can work enough, then one day I could rest. Or one day my woman would understand something and then she will stop complaining. Or I'm, om I'm only doing this now so that one day I can do what I really want with my life. The masculine error is to think that eventually things will be different in some fundamental way. They won't. It never ends. As long as life continues, the creative challenge is to tussle, play, and make love with the present moment while giving your unique gift. What this means in layman's term is, there is never a right time. There is never a right moment for you to start. There's never a right action for you to do. So stop waiting. You're basically procrastinating when you think that I'm just waiting for the right time or I'm just waiting for the right thing to do. Just do it. Just do it. Just do something and just start right now. Turn your brain off. We have, as humans, we have so complex brains that while we are so intelligent, we also overthink a lot. So at times like this, when you're hesitant and you're like not knowing what to do, turn your brain off, try something as simple as like, uh, imagine you're like a fat guy or unfit guy and you don't know what to do, calisthenics or weightlifting or powerlifting or just go out, just, just drop down and do some knee push-ups. Just go to the gym and do some bicep curls. Who cares? Just do something. Build that momentum of doing something. As I've mentioned in another video, momentum. Momentum of wins. Just build it. Build the snowball effect. Start doing something. Because the hardest thing is to start. That's the hardest part. That's the most friction part. Just start. Do something. Do some lame things. But at least you're doing something. And it builds up. You get the experience, you get the trial and error and you know what to do. You gain like experiences and mistakes and you learn from them and you slowly perfect your way to doing what you want and doing what you are supposed to do. So let me give you a... So the opportunity doesn't come to you. You chase the opportunity. So stop waiting and just chase the opportunity. I have an analogy for you. Let's say we have two rats. They are food deprived for two days. And we have this maze. At the end of the maze, there is some super delicious cheese to eat for the rats. And in this maze, however, there are many dead ends. It's a very big maze. And some ends, there are cats waiting to eat these rats. These rats know the risk of the unknown, of the dangers that lies ahead in this maze, right? But first rat, he is super hungry. He's a little bit dumb in his brain, but his hunger is taking over. His, he's not an overthinker. He's just not hesitant at all. He scurries through the maze. He encounters many dead ends, encounters many rats, I mean, many cats, but he knows he escapes and he knows that it ends. He knows the routes. He knows the paths. So with trial and error, he changes paths, encounters a dead end or cats, changes paths, encounters again, changes paths, learn from his mistakes, trial and error. And eventually he reaches the end of the maze and he gets to enjoy his delicious cheese and finally be full. Well, the second rat, he's more smarter, he's a bit smarter. 
and he overthinks a lot. He thinks, oh, I don't want to be stuck in this maze for the rest of my life. I, I don't want to get caught by cats. He'd rather starve at the entrance and die at the entrance of the maze without starting than end up in a cat's stomach then end up failing, dying by failing. He'd rather die by not starting. And that's kind of lame, right? That sounds super lame. And that's basically what you, most people are, the second rat. They are scared of trying. They are scared of taking action. They say, I don't want to fail at the start. I, I'm scared to fail. So I'm waiting for the right moment when I'm ready before I start. It's like the logic of the person who trains because he's not good, like trains in basketball because he's not good. And then there's another person who, who says, I'm not good, so I don't want to train. You get what I mean, right? So you need to trial and error. The moral of the story is trial and error. There is never a right time or a right thing to do. You need to have the experience. You can't be scared of gaining experience because Experience is what you need to progress. It's what you need to learn. And when you have these experiences and mistakes, you get to know yourself better. You know what works for you, what doesn't, what you like, what you don't like. And eventually you go closer and closer to a purpose. It, it just comes naturally to you as you progress. So. The way of the superior man has mentioned layers of purpose in our life. It's like an onion. If you ever cut an onion in half, right? Then the cross-sectional onion, there's layers and layers and layers. We always start outside the onion. So the second red is outside the onion. And it dies outside the onion before exploring the onion. The first red starts from the skin of the onion. That's your first layer of purpose. That's like a broad purpose, like doing some dumbbell curls or exploring the gym. And when you go further into the onion, you peel off the layer, you go to like the inner layers. That's when you find out more about your purpose in more detail, in more like precision and specification to yourself, to your identity. And when you start progressing, you start venturing deeper into these layers. You peel off, peel off, peel off. You know what you're good at. You know what calls to you. And eventually you would find your clear purpose, your specific purpose made for you, what you're made of, what you're made to do. And it's a process. It's a long process of peeling off the layers of purpose. But eventually you would still find your purpose only if you take action and only if you have the experience and trials and errors that's how you find your purpose it comes to you but you have to chase the purpose you have to chase the opportunities and you just naturally show up after you've only chased only after you've chased so if you don't know what to do, if you have something in mind but you're thinking of the right time and you're thinking, oh, it's not the right time yet, you're waiting for it, turn your brain off, start right now, do something right now, just do it and gain the experiences, gain the mistakes, learn from them. Eventually, you would work your things out. Okay.